Hey Insurance, this is Tony Cañas, Chief Motivational Officer at Insurance Nerds and PNC Client Advisor at the Jacobson Group. I'm a Hamilton fanatic. I fell in love with it shortly after starting my job at Jacobson in 2018. Jacobson's downtown Chicago headquarters is literally next door to the Hamilton Theater in Chicago, where the show was in residence for over three years. I went to see it and was simply blown away. The very next morning, I bought the soundtrack, which I've listened to on loop basically to this day. I went back to see it three or four times, and uh, when it was announced that they would close, I convinced my girlfriend to fly into Chicago with me just to see it one last time. It was literally fly in, fly out. Um, I, I haven't had the chance to see it on Broadway, but I absolutely will as soon as I have, as I have a chance. My friend Greg Golsom watched it a month ago and, like me, was blown away. Greg uh, proceeded to post eight leadership lessons he learned from watching it, and today I'm going to be sharing those lessons with you, with his permission, and with some extra commentary of my own. Lesson one. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. We need to nail our first impression and help others to nail their first shot. I had the opportunity to co-present at CBCU Into Risk with Serona Sharp and Keyson Dingle on the first 90 days. I challenge all my colleagues to be an ally for, for others who are taking their first shot. Stand up and be there. Help someone else nail their first shot this week. I absolutely agree. There's simply no second chance for a first impression. So always put your best foot forward. Work on your confidence. Be friendly. Be respectful. Learn to give a good handshake. Give people your full attention. As you grow, send the elevator back down for the next generation and help them make a great first impression. Lesson two, it's not where you start, it's where you finish, and who you influence on your path. Alexander Hamilton began life poor and was parentless by the time he was 12. His passion for, for our country's independence led to him rising in the ranks, influencing and motivating others. Remember, while Hamilton was never president, he helped create our country's founding documents and our finance system. You can be an influencer no matter your title or, or department in your company. This one really speaks to me. I started in a great place with significant privilege. Then I found great advice and mentors along the way. And influencing insurance to be better and the next generation to succeed in insurance is huge to me. Pay it forward. Lesson three. Would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. Huh. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Can't be serious. You wanna get... In this Zoom culture we are in, we all want to make sure we get our share of screen time. Try Aaron Burr's advice. Listen, let others talk first. You may learn something new or even be persuaded that your first thoughts were actually not relevant or even wrong. After listening and smiling, then we can talk. This one is very hard for me. I love to talk, and I have to consistently work on my listening. But it's absolutely fantastic advice. You have two ears and one mouth. Do at least twice as much listening as, as, as you do talking. However, I do have to point out what, what Aaron Burr means by, quote unquote, talk less, smile more, in Hamilton, is not exactly about listening. It's more about holding your, car, your cards close to your chest and never giving your enemies ammo against you. But Greg's read is fantastic advice. Lesson four. In Hal Urban's awesome book, Life's Great Lessons, chapter five, is titled, Attitude is a Choice, and, and most important one, and the most important one that you'll ever make. When Hamilton takes on the role as Washington's aide de camp, instead of fighting on the, on the front lines, he could have had a poor attitude. Alexander Hamilton uh, took on the role with enthusiasm and soon was Washington's right-hand man. Too often, we allow our emotions to get in the way of an important stepping stone to success. If we nail the role we are in with a grateful attitude, we eventually get the recognition and rewards. This is fantastic advice. I guarantee the insurance ecosystem is too much of a relationship business where everyone, everybody knows everybody. Always have a good, a good attitude, never burn a bridge. One proven way to grow is to take the role nobody wants, but is crucial, and hit it out of the park. Another small clarification for those that haven't seen Hamilton, 
The reason Hamilton wasn't thrilled to become Washington's secretary is because he really wanted to fight on the front lines. At that time, orphans like Hamilton had very few opportunities to improve their standing in society. And being a war hero was one of the few things that could make a huge difference. Others, like Ern Burr, would have seen the secretary role as a cushy job close to power. But for Hamilton, it was incredibly frustrating. Lesson five. One of J.S. held core values, collaboration, is in our DNA. Uh, a clarification, that, that's the company that Greg works for. Hamilton had to realize that he needed allies and, and to collaborate to, to get the vision accepted, to get his vision ac accepted. At JS Held, we just completed seven amazing different sessions at PLRB Large Laws. Our experts were able to collaborate with art experts, cyber adjusters and, uh, and adjusters, cyber attorneys, and other season adjusters and, and attorneys that had handled mega-sized fire and water losses. They melded their knowledge with, with the other experts to produce engaging educational two-hour sessions. Two hours. The, the teams all learned from each other and played off of each other's strengths. I'm proud of the prep work, planning, and, and creative ideas that the, that the teams came up with via collaboration. Nothing of substance gets accomplished by a single person. Insurance nurse wasn't built just by me, not even close. The book wasn't written just by me either. Everything we do takes lots of collaboration, even more so in, in, in my day job at Jacobson. It looks to my clients like... I'm an incredible rock star at finding talent, but the reality is I have an incredible team of recruiters behind me to deliver on my promises. Lesson six, if you're going to do something, you may as well do it awesome. I love the image of pure joy. It's the joy of reaping years of hard work and preparation. It's one reason I love, love, love debriefs. And when we do ours after JS Health sessions, we take the time to review what went well and what we can do to make the next session even better next time. I'll bet Alexander Hamilton did several drafts of his portion of the Federalist Papers that drastically improved the final effort. I agree completely. This one goes hand in hand with lesson four. Doing things in a mediocre way will result in you learning less and getting much less recognition and future opportunities from them. There's no need to be a perfectionist either, but your work has to be up to par for anything else to matter and help you grow your career. Education, networking, everything else that I talk about all the time is useless if you're doing the shoddy work. Lesson seven. I knew you'd fight until the war was won, but you deserve a chance to meet your son. Look around. So even back in the 1700s, people had work-life balance issues. Hamilton's wife begs him to stay to, stay, to see the birth of, of his son, and he heads back to war, to war instead. What have you missed out on to attend another, yet another meeting? Well, we are passionate about our careers. Let's not forget to be there for, for those that, that we love. Work-life balance is crucial. We are corporate athletes working 30-plus year careers. You won't survive if you burn yourself out. Take a break. Spend time with your loved ones. Don't miss your kids growing up. My girlfriend constantly reminds me, nobody lays in their deathbed wishing that they had worked more. The funny part is that she worked more hours than I do. Title of the Federalist Papers. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays. The work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. Habits are the key to all success. Did you know that, 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 ha that Hamilton wrote 51 of the 85 Federalist Papers in less than six months? That's some serious writing and some serious butt-in-chair long days. He knew he had to carry the load to, to get this done for our independence and, and governing. What's your biggest goal? Setting a daily habit to, to work on pieces of your goal is the best way to move towards your milestone of reaching your goal. You want to reach a big goal? Set and guard the time to do it. You are your habits. More importantly, you become your habits. Pretty much every book on career success that I've read mentions the importance of, of habits. There's also several great books on habits, and the most, ha the most recommended one is Atomic Habits. I reviewed it on, on Hay Insurance episode 97. You can find that on, on YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you, Greg, for your friendship and, and your tireless involvement with the society, with the CPC Society, and for bringing me back to this wonderful story of, of Hamilton. Also, I, I want to add that, that habits, uh, it's not just about creating the right habits, it's also about leaving the time to do deep work. Uh, Hamilton would have never been able to, to, to write 
the 51 essays of, of the Federalist Papers that, 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 that he wrote on, on his own if he had not set, set time for deep work. And he didn't have the problem that we have of cell phones, of notifications, of, of constant electronic distraction, set time for deep work. I also did a, uh, a video on deep work in the Insurance Research YouTube channel. Uh, look, look, for, look, look for, that, for, that, for that one too. It's a fantastic book. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that this was helpful. See you next time.